So I'm here in Regent's Park in London because today there's a food event happening just behind me. And so I'm gonna be asking people questions about why they wanna to go to the event, but also what food they're looking to purchase and whether or not they thought about the victims behind the food they're looking to purchase. And hopefully I can influence some of the people going in to try the vegan options instead. I'm asking people questions about why they want to go to the event today. And so I was wondering, why do you wanna to go to the event today? Um, um, well, I live abroad, so I just wanted to see all the different cultures. Yeah. We love food. We heard the good list of restaurants, so we try it out. It's a good day out. What food are you looking forward to trying? Oh, the burger with the scrambled eggs inside it. Oh, is that, the, that the, new, the new one, right? Yeah, and it went viral on Instagram. I'm looking forward to trying the Indian food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm vegetarian, so anything that can... <laughs> I hear there's a good selection of vegetarian and vegan food in there today. That's good news. There's some workshops taking place as well where people can get hands on and do different things. Do they take your fancy as well? Uh, yeah, possibly, of yeah. course. Yeah. We, don't, we don't know much stuff. about it to be honest. Okay. We just know there's food stores and some other stuff. So it's, and let's see what it's about. So. There was a workshop and an event, um, not, not this event, but a similar event. Um, and it caused a little bit of controversy. And so I'm trying to get people's reactions to that as well, because the controversy was around um, letting members of the public kill their own lobsters and crabs. And I was wondering if that'd be something you would do if that workshop was available. No, I wouldn't. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah. What about yourself? Would you? I'm vegetarian, so I probably wouldn't do it. <laughs> 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 what about um, this is not what was going to happen but let's, let's, let's push it a little bit further and say instead of crabs and lobsters it was like chickens and cows and pigs and, and turkeys and such would you still be interested in, in doing it um, probably not no. no it doesn't sit well I don't know yeah, it's strange, it sounds, right? sounds a bit hypocritical but I don't know I, I probably wouldn't want to do it what do you think it would be the, the, the reason you wouldn't want to do it I just I don't know I just find it a bit weird to do that like it's not I it's, I know it happens, but I, I don't. I don't want to be the one doing that. Right? No. Yeah. But, but what about saying paying someone else to do it on your behalf? Does that make it better, or is it still the same? Would that be something you'd be interested in doing? Well, I'm not a vegan, and um, I don't. I eat like meat and chicken, but I personally could never kill a crab, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't eat crabs and lobsters. No. So. No. What about say the animals that you do eat? Would you ever be able to kill them? Do you think? I could never kill them. I, I'm a, I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> I could never kill it's them. It's funny, right? I, I, I said the same thing to someone else earlier and they were like, I'm a hypocrite as well. Yeah, um, and so I said, is there morally a difference between doing it yourself and paying someone else to do it on your behalf, do you think? I think people buy things because they haven't seen the process of it. So yes. you don't feel what you don't see. And because the majority of us don't see it, and whoever does see it, that's normal to them. Yeah. Whoever doesn't see it, that's not normal not to normal. them. Yeah. So it could either put you off or you could just live in denial. No, vegetarian and... I, uh, Are you vegetarian? Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah. I try and <laughs> avoid avoid that. Avoid yeah, yeah, and so, what about yourself? Would that be? Um, I'm just not into hurting animals <laughs> like that. Who is so. right? Yeah. yeah so I'll, I'd pass on that. True. I'm against that. Sure. And what about say, because one, one of the things I asked earlier it was really interesting, someone said that they would do it. And I said, well, let's say instead of a lobster or a crab, it's a, a chicken or a cow or a pig. Would you still want to do it? And they said no. And so I'm guessing you still wouldn't do it in that no, situation. No, of course yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, no, a lot of people think like it differs if it's like shellfish yeah. or something between mammals, but yeah. <laughs> no. And let's say if we're against it doing it ourselves, should it be acceptable to pay for someone else to do it on our behalf or should it still be unacceptable to do that? I think absolutely unacceptable. That's why I've chosen my way of life. Yeah, but, you know. That's good. Well, yeah, that's good. What about yourself? Yeah. 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 Same yeah. answer. I don't know. I, don't, I know. I know. It's a touchy subject, it and I, I don't know. Yeah. 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 I mean, I guess the idea is to, is to say, well, you know, people would be okay with this, but they wouldn't be okay with that. Yeah. And it's well, yeah, what's and the it's, difference? It's, it's a tough. It's a tough thing yeah. to say, right? We're like encouraged. We're still doing it, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I I personally wouldn't want to do it, but. And what do you think about, say, paying someone else to do it? Do, do you think that does make any difference, or is it still kind of that same? Is, is the blood still on the, the, your hands, so to speak, just not necessarily literally? I don't know. No. I, it's just very, very tough question. It is a tough yeah, question. Yeah, it is, it is. Yeah. And I, I get what you're saying, and I, I, I also sympathise, and I think it's a really tough situation yeah. to be in. Say you get to the stand, let's say it's the scrambled egg burger, yeah. um, and you get there, and then, and then they tell you, actually, the scrambled egg burger is made with dog meat as well. Would you would you still want to buy it? I would sign a petition. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dog at home. You would sign a petition say, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, and no one comes here, no one eats this. <laughs> well, what, what do you, that's really interesting. What do you think is the difference between, say, a dog and, and a cow burger? Well, I think um, there are certain animals that you could eat, uh, medically, the way that they sweat, like for example, 
I don't think people should eat pork in general no. because number one, like obviously they all have long-term memory and you could love them all, but they sweat from the inside. They respect your beliefs and that's cool. Right? Yeah, and I, I, you know, I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, we appreciate yeah, that very course, much. Course. And um, and say said say instead you go to the stall and you're looking at buying maybe some Indian food and it's, instead of the, the the traditional meat that being in in the Indian food, say it, it's dogs or cats or or even I don't know anything else. How would you feel about that? Would you would you still be interested in buying it or would you feel slightly differently about it? What do you mean, dogs and yeah, cats? Yeah, say it was like a dog, like dog meat inside the food. No, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't eat that, no. And, and, and any reason why you wouldn't eat that over, say, um, turkeys or chickens or cows or any other animal? I, not, not particularly a reason. I guess it's just not something that's quite common, but is yeah. it? And yeah, I would it's say not. for most people, dogs and cats is what they put an emotional attachment yes. to, and then yeah. the other ones they don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah so just like you wouldn't really eat human. Not. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's, it's massively cultural, isn't I it? I have a dog, so, it's, I would. <laughs> <laughs> so that would make it a lot harder, right? And, and what would stop you, say, from, from taking that step to veganism, potentially? Um, I've tried. I've tried veganism. Um, I'd say... Uh, most of the time I'm vegan, but I, I can't call myself a vegan, you know, if, if there's a, a crepe, I go for a crepe and then maybe there's egg in it or, uh, you know, um, but I, I've been trying, I've been trying. So it's, it's uh, step by step, it's uh, I think a year and a half now, almost two years of uh, been vegetarian, so uh, eventually I think we'll get there. So. Well done, good for you. And what about yourself? What Would anything stop you from trying veganism? Um, I think it's mostly culture yeah. and like social environment that sure. helps a lot like I mean it has a huge impact yes. but if you can do it and like you have the mental capacity and strength to do it I think it definitely does make a difference but it already aligns with what you're saying because you said you'd never want to hurt animals yeah so it already I mean, aligns with those core values that you have which is wonderful do you think culture should dictate morality and what's right and wrong um no because you will always have extremists and then you will always have the laid-back ones and I feel like I feel like morality and culture, I think just being a good person and you know, understanding what, because you, I think culture is there to teach you what's your limit, what's yeah. your boundary, That's very good, yeah. and if you overcross that boundary or undercross that boundary, like yeah. you'll never be in between. No. So it's, I think it's more of the environment and the way you've brought, been brought up at home. True. And so you said good person, could you define what being a good person means? I think being a good person is like not talking about others in a negative way, not harming yourself, not harming the ones around you. You can do whatever you want, be whoever you want, yeah. as long as you're not hurting others or yourself. And, and when we buy like meat, do you think we are hurting others? Of course. So do you uh, think that contradicts course, the idea of being a good person? I'm not saying you're a bad no, person. No, no, I know do. what you mean. No, I'm, I'm, I'm very open to these yeah. questions. Um, the thing is, like, when you go and you buy these meats, to you, like, you don't feel like you are harming those animals because they're dead already. So it's a cultural thing, isn't it? So I guess just two more questions. I, I'm sorry to keep you. Um, do you think that culture should dictate morality and what's right and wrong? No, I don't think anything should dictate morality. It should do it. You should dictate your own morality, right? Do you, you should do your own thing. Like, whatever you believe in, shouldn't impose your beliefs on anyone else. Like, live yourself and... Yeah enjoy your life that's it like, there's you know yeah and then so the final question running along that theme would be what do you think has higher value say taste and pleasure or life life, life. yeah uh, do you pretty think, simple yeah, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. It, is, it is when, you, when we lay out that's, uh, that way but at the same time when we buy something like say meat or dairy or eggs or something like that we, we actually pride the, the taste over the life because the animals die for that taste and, yeah. and that sensory pleasure. I can I can see both sides of it. I guess people who are buying it are saying, I mean, the, the, it's already been done and it's really bad. Yeah. So if I'm not going to be eating it, someone else is going to be eating it. But at the same time, I get it. Yeah. Since we're demanding it, there's exactly. encouraging it. Exactly. Yeah. I think a lot of people think morals are guided by culture. Yeah, true. But I actually think like it um, contrasts with each other. So. It's a great um, subject to look into. I don't know. I haven't thought about that yeah, a lot. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. for sure. I think everyone should have their own sense of what's right, right and wrong, exactly. and question what uh, culture might ask uh, uh, of you. So very good. That's. A, I think that's absolutely right. Yeah. What would you define as being like a good or, or right or like what 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 moral code do you both live by? I think maybe good intentions. Like if you don't wish anything bad on anyone. Just wish for the best, mind your own business. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Peace. Peace. Peace is a huge peace. moral. Yeah. yeah re reducing suffering. 
reducing uh, suffering. That's uh, for, for, for the planet, for the animals, for people. And, yeah. It's like people who buy fur coats. Right. Well, you can you can like go against them and they're still going to produce, so I'm just going to buy it because they're always going to produce. But then you have other people who it does hurt them because they're vegan, because they love animals and they're like anti, 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 all of these things. Yeah. But like, I think like, there is a limit and I think buying meat from a supermarket is not crossing that limit but I think like there's certain limits and certain places that you are around the world and you have to respect the way that they live you sure, know sure. so like of course I'm against like certain countries that kill dogs and yeah. eat dogs I am against it but when you go and step into their country the majority of them aren't against it no so you just cannot change people. No. But at the same time, should something be allowed simply because it, it, it's cultural? And at the same time, um, just because something's in a supermarket, why does that make it, a, is, is it a legal thing? Is it because it's legally allowed that it makes it okay? Or If you want my honest advice, like my honest opinion, the yeah. way I see the world, we live in a world where we don't have that freedom of choice. So you can keep on fighting and fighting and fighting to have that change. Yeah. But there are certain people in this world that have control over all of these things. And this is the system that the majority of us will be running under in yeah. the next 20 years. You said that, 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 that meat's on the shelf already and when we buy it, the animal's already dead. Yeah. But why are the animals killed in the first place? Oh, because of the people that, that want to make money. Everything. But how do they make money? They make money by selling you that meat. So us buying it? Us buying it. And they do the dirty work, yeah. and we, we buy the clean work. Yeah, true. But so we pay for the dirty work. We pay for the dirty work. Perhaps, I mean, I know you're going to go eat vegetarian food, but perhaps maybe when you're inside, there's plenty of vegan food as well. Maybe yeah, try yeah, the vegan absolutely. options yeah, and see I'm what you... I'm very open mind. Come on, try everything. I'm very Thank appreciative of that. Have Thank a great you. time. Yeah, have a lovely day. Nice Thank to meet you both. Do you think we'll ever have peace if there's um, meat or, or animal products in our plates? I think also people, it, like people's um, judgments and actions towards those judgments is a huge element right, towards um, peace because like even like vegans or like they cause a lot of chaos if someone's eating meat right. or it could just be a religious thing yeah or you know i don't know yeah don't do attack me i don't know oh, I would, and i would never do that and i hope you don't think that i am no no no, 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 no. wonderful I, no, good. <laughs> oh, no, no they would never do that either absolutely Everyone lives in denial That's and you just true. can't change it because nobody wants to accept the truth because it's a headache. And so final, final question. Um, what has high value, taste or life? Taste or life? Well, if you, if you have a good life and a happy life, you can make anything taste nice. You can make vegetable curry and that tastes nice. Yeah, it does. So, like, so say what has high value, say the taste of the meat that we enjoy or the, the life of the animal who's had their life taken? What do you think has higher value in your eyes? Um, okay now, like you have a lion and you're watching that Geo Wild yeah. and that lion attacks the deer and eats that deer, there's nothing you can do. No. So as human beings, we're, we're omnivores, we eat plants and we eat meat, yeah. so it's in our instinct and we've been hunters from day one when we've been put sure. on this planet. But there is a balance, like I can't tell you personally that taste or life is better because if everything were to be destroyed right now, you will go on survival mode. But we're not in that mode now. And lions eat meat because they have to to survive. Some people are anemic and some people are this and some people don't have money to have access to higher quality food. Some yeah. people have access to lower quality yeah. food. Uh, maybe you have, let's say there was a shop where the meat is killed in a very nice way. What would that define what that would look like? Okay, so like they would pet it, treat it, look after it and kill it where it feels no pain. Cut, cut the throats with that? No, actually when you cut the... So there's a way of cutting the goats. You yes. have to cover its eyes with its ears and automatically they yep. have an instinct that they know they're going to die. So final question is, what do you think has higher value? Our taste preferences or sensory pleasure or an animal's life? Animal's life animal's for me, life. that's easy. Because yeah. 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 you yeah. could still enjoy food yeah. if it yeah. doesn't come from an animal, True. of course. True. Yeah. And the great thing is there's lots of vegan food in there. So maybe have a look and if it appeals to you, try the vegan food today instead. Oh, for sure. Yeah, sure. no, no, definitely. In, the, in there, there's a whole bunch of different foods, loads yeah. of different foods, but there's also a lot of vegan options as well. And I was wondering if maybe you'd be interested in trying one of the vegan foods in there. I tried being vegan. Yeah? Personally. And what happened? I tried it for one week. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. I didn't feel bloated. My skin was better. Yeah. I felt healthier. Yeah. I think we can eventually stop eating meat. Yeah. But would that mean that the chickens and the goats and everything will overpopulate the world too? 
you know like and at the same time like you have to really educate people on what specific food would replace them yeah and what sh and a lot of people don't like vegetables that's the problem yeah. but the reason we have so many animals is because we artificially breed them into production anyway yeah. and so as the number of vegans increases the number of animals we breed would yeah. decrease and so if we ever get to like say a vegan world yeah. that'd be a world where we're no longer breeding animals and as such they wouldn't overpopulate anyway yeah. it's just a, a, a I'm just gonna tell process. you my last thing Please as do. human beings we are selfish from day one we've sure. been put on this planet thinking yeah. that this belongs to us Yes. when it's belonged to animals three billion years ago and the planet is running in a system where everything that's been put naturally uses each other mm -hmm. there's bacteria in the ocean that creates oxygen for us that's for right. the trees for everything I know all of this yeah. but as human beings we've been put here and we've destroyed a system that's been running on its own for billions of years yeah. and only now people are understanding and realizing that there's something going on right. and that things need to change yeah. And everything can change. Exactly. It's it depends on these it's business. It is business. And it depends on these that. people want to give up that power because money is power it and is. they they don't want to give that up. No. So But we can force that hand by making changes that we agree with and, di and or disagree with. Stop buying them. Exactly. Which yeah. we can do. And I always say, mind my language, <laughs> there is an idiot for every product. And that is very true. That's very true. I really appreciate you stopping. Yeah, well, Have a lovely day. It was a very great conversation. Nice and I appreciate your honesty as well. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye now, bye. Make little, uh, yeah. I appreciate that very Make much. Yeah. People reflect and that's question. yeah. That's what I like to try and do as best as I can. It's just you know, and I and I really echo what you what you said about like you know a lot of people really um, have strong opinions about vegans because of the way vegans can be. You know, and yeah. sometimes like but it's not all vegans. No, no, I don't want to generalize. No, 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 but it is, it, and I think it's really important that having conversations is a really powerful way of just you know we all agree. Yes, we all agree, you know, yeah, it's just we are different levels, different stages, and sometimes we don't think about it. So. And if you respect everything, even if you don't agree with some stuff, as long as you respect them, then, you know, I think yeah. that helps and a lot. As I well. think for me, a part of that respect is, 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 is giving people the ability to question. Mm -hmm. Because if we've never questioned anything, we don't know how we truly yeah. feel. So I think part of showing respect to someone is, is, is also sometimes asking those questions that are tough, because then we know how we really feel and whether or not what we're doing aligns with, with our actions and such. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I agree, respect goes a long way. Yeah. yeah. Have a great day guys. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Bye. Good luck. Thank you. Bye now.